Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Rose and we're just going to jump right on in and get started. Uh, I'm titling this reading, I Hide My Feelings Because. So if you've clicked on to this read, we're going to find out why this person struggles to tell you how they truly feel. Uh, we're going to find out how they feel, why, why they hide their true feelings for you or from you. Um, yeah, we're going to be working with a couple of different decks, Virgo, uh, kicking off with the Animal Spirit deck by Colette Baron reed Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, Virgo. Um, and let's find out more about the one you're thinking of or connecting to at this time. Spirit Names and Guides. Okay, I'll take the top one that I see, which is the Nightingale Spirit. Okay, so I feel um, I feel you're connecting to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with very strong air in their chart, Virgo. I see birds as air energy, so. Um, Someone who likes to have a chat, someone who likes to talk, someone who is very stimulated through conversation. Um, I feel this person does a lot of talking, okay, and can easily talk to you about lots of different subjects and topics, all but how this person truly feels. I do get the sense that this person um, has some genuine interest in you. Um, and it says here, love is all around. And I all, I get for some of you Virgos that this person would go as far as even love you. Okay, I feel like this person loves you. And if it's not love, it's definitely a deep care for you. It is this reason why this person hides their feelings, okay? They hide their feelings because they do really care about you or they do love you. Um, it could be that this person has felt these feelings very early. So if this is someone that you've just met um, or if this still feels very fresh, uh, for some of you Virgos, I get that this person feels like it would be too soon. Um to share how they really feel. For others of you, this person um, hides their feelings because they just feel a bit foolish uh, if they were to reveal their feelings. I don't know why I'm getting that, but that's what I'm getting. We'll see what else is coming through the tarot. What does the tarot want you to know? Okay, this one wants to come through. The Emperor. Well, that makes a bit of sense. So for some of you, could be connecting to an Aries, someone who may be uh, in a power of authority, in a position of authority or in a position of power. Um, you could be connecting to someone who is a manager, a boss, a CEO, a very strong leader here. And straight away, this person hides their feelings because they like to be in control, okay? The emperor likes to be in control. This is someone who may have control issues. Um, yeah, that, that came to me very, very strongly. Yeah, they like to be in control. Um, and control is just a mask for or insecurity so yeah maybe this person feels insecure look at that and as I said this you can't make this up Virgo we've got the five of coins so there is some kind of a lack inside of this individual okay maybe let's get more we've got the king of swords there's the air sign I'll just move that up there let's just grab one more 
So we've got Aries energy, we've got Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming out strongly here. And I'll just grab one more card. Okay, this one wants to come through. Eight of Cups. Yeah. I'm not surprised. I'll explain to you in a moment why. So as I was saying earlier, this emperor, uh, this person hides their true feelings because they like to be in control. And control can sometimes mean or most often means that there is an insecurity that this person is trying to hide. Now with the five of coins coming out, it could be that this person, when I look at the five of coins, I think of poverty, okay? I think of someone who is in poverty. We can even see in this five of coins, there's a beggar here. There is a beggar. So um, that tells me that maybe this person doesn't have a very, uh, uh, doesn't have a job that is, um, that makes a lot of money, or it could be that this person um, isn't financially in a good position. Um, maybe this person has lost a lot of money. Um, maybe this person has accumulated a lot of debt. All right, and it's making them maybe insecure or just at least feeling like they're not good enough. There is a lack or a void that this person feels and doesn't like to feel it. And I believe that they are mask it behind controlling their emotions, controlling their feelings. So, yeah. For others of you with the five of coins, this person hides their true feelings because they feel that you don't care about them or... Like, because the five of coins can speak to an energy of someone who feels rejected. Maybe you've rejected this individual in the past. Maybe you've rejected them recently. They feel rejection or they have at least felt rejection once. It could have been in what was communicated or expressed. We do have the nightingale here. Okay, something was said. Something was said through conversation. Perhaps this person with the King of Swords, okay, got in their head. They got in their head. They heard something that was said and they made a story out of it. And now they just feel like um, they feel rejected by you just by blowing up this one thing that was said. Okay. Yeah, even in this King of Swords, you can see his sword is down. Okay, so uh, meaning this is a very closed off individual, doesn't like to express their emotions, doesn't like to express their feelings too much. Um, this is someone who's more logic is more in their logical mind. Um, I, I want to say rationalize their feelings. So I don't know if that makes sense to you. I don't know why I need to say that, but this is someone who rationalizes their feelings. If it makes sense, Virgo, please give us a thumbs up if that makes sense to you. We've also got the Eight of Cups here. Okay, this person doesn't, if this is Virgo, if you have walked away from this individual before, they don't want to feel like they have to beg for your love or fight for your love or, yeah, does that make sense? Because I'm seeing these two cards as someone begging to come back, like, and I feel like they hide their feelings because they don't want to seem like someone who's begging, begging for you to return or come back. Um, for others of you, you walked away from them and they hide their feelings because they just, they just don't want to feel like 
that icy cold feeling from you. They don't want to have to come forward and express how they feel because they don't want to feel rejected by you. Because especially if they felt rejected once, they certainly don't want to feel the rejection again. Again, Virgo, this person may have equally walked away from you. This could be a deeply sensitive individual. I mean, we do have eight cups here. This is a sensitive person. And I feel that they don't want to talk about their emotions. The Emperor and the King of Swords, this is someone who is very closed, very closed. Doesn't like to feel vulnerable, does just... I'm, more, I'm, more, I'm almost getting that it's pointless for them to talk about their emotions. They just don't see the logical sense in needing to talk about their feelings or to express their feelings. But that's all I have for you. I hope this was helpful, Virgo. And until next time, take care, guys. Bye for now.